Um, you know, it just took concentration and focusing on what the objective was at the end of the game was to close the game out. It doesn't matter how how we do it, we just knew that we needed to do it. So, you know, everyone was kind of synced in and locked in mentally and knew what we needed to do in order to close the game out. So, you know, got to get our best free throw shooters the ball, got to get the people who get open, got to give them the ball, and, you know, we got to stay strong and just stay stay locked in was the most important thing. Yeah, when it was 88-79, you had a, a great, you made a play to beat the press and you got the ball to Oz who went in for a dunk. That was, uh, looked like uh, you really took control at that point. Yeah, it was because, you know, like, I realized that they were playing like a, a certain type of press where they were letting you catch the ball, go up the sideline and try to get you a half court. And the guy who was in the back would take the wing and cut you off baseline. I mean, cut you off sideline. So I realized that Oz would be open. So I just, I seen it two plays before. So I just wanted to see what would happen if I, I'm glad it paid off though, because if it was gonna, if it was a turnover, Toby probably would kill me. Greg, the first ten minutes of the second half, Greg and Matai going on the run, and then James getting into foul trouble with Cali. How big was that for this team to hold on that stretch? Uh, it was, it was, it was good for us. You know, we understand the the preseason accolades and everything, but you know, we we don't really look at anybody any different from the last people we played to the next. So, you know, once we once we realized that he was getting into foul trouble early, you know, we, we target the people who who. I'm foul trouble and try to get him out the game and get him out the way. Now, to address their rally, what do you guys need to do to close out games more efficiently? Uh, we got to stay locked in. You know, we, we you know, I, uh, and even myself, you know, I'll take accountability in it. You know, once we're up a certain amount of numbers, you know, you can't just start thinking as if, like, all right, it's time to time to get mine now. You know, there's, there's still shots that we need to be considerate about, and there's still motion that needs to be ran. So, Tobin, he's letting us know that. But um, he can tell us so much, but we have to incorporate it on the court because we're the ones passing the ball. So we need to understand that that the stat chasing after being up at a certain point, you know, it's not going to help. Did the fouling and the whistle kind of break the momentum of the game? Definitely. A little bit. And how do you kind of balance wanting to be aggressive and pressure and not fouling to let teams kind of get back in the game from, from the line? Yeah, man, the, the, the fouling, the fouling calls, I mean, they were, I think it was like 11 in a row, you know, and it was like, we're just sitting here thinking like, all right, we know they're calling fouls. We know we want to be aggressive to get them off their game, but now we need to be aggressive but smart about it. You know, we need to just, like, stunt at them and be, like, fake aggressive, but at the same time, don't let any pressure, you know? Are you guys a little shocked by the fact that they went on a 36-13 to 13 run to close out the game? Do you feel a little shocked that you sit there? No, I feel like <laughs> everyone we play, they give us their best, so we just had to close out games. Really, that's on us. Like, we are like you said, we were playing our last days of cold. Like, we weren't. Everybody's just trying to get their own. So we got to keep playing team basketball and we'll keep our leads. I definitely wouldn't say shocked. I'd say just like more so disappointed. It's a great win for sure. Yeah. Great win, great win. You know, it's just it's certain ways you can win the game, you know, and certain ways you would like to win the game. And that's not a way we would want to win the game. But we understand that closing out games is, is, has been a bit of a problem this year. So we're definitely like targeting and, and trying to really pinpoint the fact of focusing on closing out games. Was there what uh, as an experienced player, a grad student? What do you say to your teammates when it, when it gets down to a tight situation as it did today? Stay focused, be calm. We've been here before. We we practice these situations in practice, so it's not anything that we're new to. So we just got to go down, make our free throws, and get a stop. You were six of twelve on three. So did you feel good shooting? Yeah, I mean, I've been shooting pretty bad recently, so it's good to just get out of the slump a little bit. Is it key if you just make a good, you know, shot your first first shot of the of the game? Uh, I work? mean, regardless if I miss or make it, I'm, I still shoot. But my teammates have confidence in me, and my coaches say they still have the confidence in me. So no matter what, just keep on shooting. You shot the ball well against them last year in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> so I was expecting them to play me a little differently, but I don't know. I was. That's so good. You guys got out rebounded 47 to 28. Was that something you expected that the boards are going to be tough today? Yes. Uh, we know that they have a lot of, they have a good uh, front court with Murr, obviously, and uh, Ingram. So we knew they were going to be tough to rebound. But like Coach wants us guards, we have to start rebounding, helping like Greg and Oz out. Because obviously, if it's just one on one, it's going to be harder for them. And we're a little undersized than more teams. So we just got to rebound collectively. What has Shea Hughes been racing his game the last few weeks? What have you seen from him this first year evolving to this game? And as it's caught up with him, how much more efficient has he become? Uh, I mean, we always knew JQ was like that from the beginning. Like He's been playing that way since the summer. So we knew he was going to break out. It's just more he has his opportunity. And, you know, coaches have more trust in him. So he's just doing what he does.
Wes, what do you make of the run that you guys are on over the last six games? Uh, man, uh, we know it's an important time of the year, especially in February. It's a time where like some teams either excel or they just crash and give up. So we just knew we didn't want to give up. Even though we started off slow, it's, we knew we could pick it up, and we know we're one of the best teams in this conference. So we're just going to play like it. Wes, what are your thoughts on uh, the road trip you're facing uh, going up to Niagara and Canisius? Uh, it's a good one. I know we know it's hard to win both there, so we're accepting the challenge, obviously. There's two good teams, and we played them already. One of them beat us with uh, Niagara, so it's going to be good to get those guys back and then obviously play Canisius again. Well, they're going to want to you know, get it back against us, so it's two good games. It's a great opportunity for us. You're kind, of going, kind of going home. Yeah, yeah, I'm close to home, so a lot of my family will be there, friends. So. Good. That'd be good. Greg, do you feel like you're a better basketball team now than the beginning of January? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. We haven't won three three games in a row all year. Yeah, so, you know, for this being the third one we won in a row, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just improvement, you know, and and there's still another ceiling to tap into, and there's one that's another one to tap into beyond that, you know, and I feel like, you know, I, I just want to keep telling my teammates, like, don't get comfortable with what we have going on right now, you know, because it, it, there's way more to come, and it's way more trials and tribulations to be faced. Uh, for both of you guys, like what has changed over you guys have now won five of the last six? Was it the Niagara game? Was there a certain moment? Uh, what was kind of like the turning point? Uh, I mean, it's always been instilled enough to like bounce back, bounce back, next play. So we just really been locking in. We have been having our best practices as well. So we're just, everybody's more bought in to coach and like his style. And we all like are getting comfortable with each other and just knowing like how we all play. So I think that was big for us, just more bonding and just getting used to each other. Yeah, and I think Tobin is definitely, you know, he's been a big part of it. He's, he's allowed us to like, it's kind of eased off us a little bit on the offensive side. And you know, he's, he's, try, he's, he's been able to like maneuver around us and ask us what we feel comfortable doing and allowing us to play our game. You know, and you know, and he, he's, he's he incorporates us how he wants stuff to be ran, but then, you know, as things started to happen, he eventually starts to let us play our game. And in our game, all five and down the bench, like everyone's game kind of sinks in together. You know, and I feel like he's, he, Coach Tobin's done a really good job at letting us who Greg, could you take us through that uh, put back dunk thing that you did? <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I always, like, I mean, I obviously want my teammates to hit the shot, you know, so I'm never going to be like, I always think my, but, you know, I always think, I always think miss, you know, because like, you know, you never know what, you never know what can happen, you know? So um, Wes had shot a three in warm up, and no, in pregame, you know, and I just like decided to go for a put back, and it was a nice put back. Remember what I'm talking about? So I just thought today, like, all right, let me try to get one more and, and see see what would happen. And I just seen like, it looked like I almost just seen the ball. I seen it was gonna miss, and I and once it hit off the back iron and, and popped back out, I just yeah, I, mean, I feel bad for whoever jumped. And they they instilled a lot of like. Our coaches staff is always like offensive rebound, crash the boards, yeah, crash they, the boards. So yeah. our our big guys have been doing good doing that, getting offensive boards. So we just gotta lock in on the defensive boards and then see how it change. Was it Greg? At the end of the day, it's still uh, it was a ninety three point uh, game uh, for uh, uh, for the opponent. Uh, do you have to work on defense to try to get the scores down into the seventies or maybe the sixties later? Yeah, I mean, I feel like obviously with a big lead. Uh, we weren't as engaged as we should be, and that's something that we need to work on. So that wouldn't happen if we're doing that, but definitely we have to lock in and our half-court defense as well as our press, just making sure they don't get open like dunks or just open threes. And no one personnel, no one who can shoot, who can't, not over close now on some people, it's things like that. Yeah, defense is, um, defense is, it's who we are. You know, like that's, when you ask about Iona, it's defense, you know, and Tobin's system is defense. So I feel like him incorporating defense into our mindset and defense being the most important thing we need to work on and actually trying to perfect our defense and holding teams to a certain amount of points and you know and really knowing scout and not allowing teams to get into the bonus on us you know and it's just a it's just it's just a, a mindset thing you know and I feel like once once we get locked in hopefully we get locked in before March comes you know and you know it'll it'll, it'll change games. And also, this is college basketball, so like every we know everybody is able to perform at any given day. So we gotta respect our opponents and everyone, even if it's the bench or if their star players are not playing well. For both of you guys, uh, things are starting to click now as a team. But how did you guys work through the kinks early on? Um, you know, how did you guys kind of stay upbeat in those earlier stretches of the season? 
Uh, I mean, it's been hard, obviously. You don't, it's not how we expected to start our season and stuff like that, but uh, just keeping the main goal in mind, obviously, that we want to win the MAC and, you know, we were trying to get to the tournament, win the tournament game. So we just kept instilling that in our mind. We got to keep going. We still have a chance. It's not like the season is over. Like, obviously, we started off a little slow, but we can't let that uh, discourage us. Yeah, definitely. Um, the main the main goal is always on our mind. Like that's always the main goal, you know. But I think we got through a lot of it by just laughing. Honestly, like we 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 laugh about it a lot. You know, and we 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 come in and we just think like you know it's eight in the morning practice. Like we wouldn't be doing this if we weren't this and this. You know, so it's like you you laugh about it, but then you just switch it on and take it so serious. You know, and we we laugh to get through a lot of the struggles that we faced and endured in the beginning of the season. And I feel like it actually paid off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.